The company she works for like you to write a blog of what you've done for your volunteer day. What an amazing idea. So she's going to write a story about the pigs that were there, what their stories were, where they've come from and why they've been saved. Hi Beautiful Beans, it's Rebecca the Vegan Pixie Warrior and welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, my channel is all about inspiring you to find new ways to become an advocate for the animals. Whether you connect with one of the other animal rights activists that I've interviewed in the past or whether one of my bite-sized activism ideas helps you to get active. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, hit that subscribe button, like, share and leave a comment. Today I'm going to give you another bite-sized activism idea. I was recently in Leeds um, helping out with a We The Free event and with the amazing organiser up there, Erica. She's fantastic. She's even better now because she, she waited for me and picked me up at a drop-off and drove an hour and a half north to Leeds, bless her, waited until God knows what time. I don't think we got home until half twelve, did we? Anyway, on the way up there, she was telling me about the last week that she'd had. So she was volunteering with a group of uh, animal rights activists and other vegans at a sanctuary called Beneath the Woods Sanctuary. What sounds like just the most beautiful sanctuary, it's in Wales. I haven't been there, but I've got friends that have and I keep getting told I need to go and do a visit, and I will. She was volunteering there for three days with a bunch of other activists and they just, you know, loved all the hard work. I love helping out at sanctuaries, it's really good. So that's one way to be active. But what she told me, and I didn't even think about it, a lot of employers nowadays will give you extra holidays and you can use those extra holidays to volunteer for a charity for the day. So it doesn't have to be volunteering at, for example, um, a charity shop or feeding the homeless. A lot of animal sanctuaries nowadays are charities. So Pear Tree Farm has just been made a charity. I know that Dean Farm is definitely a charity. So this is a little way you can become active. And what she's gonna do is not only is she using that extra holiday to volunteer somewhere that she loves and wants to be. The company she works for like you to write a blog of what you've done for your volunteer day. What an amazing idea. So she's going to write a story about the pigs that were there, what their stories were, where they've come from and why they've been saved. How many of her colleagues are going to read that? And they might make that connection. I think that's such a brilliant idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. So I want to thank Erica for letting me share this idea because I think it's a really, really good one. Um, and you get to spend some time with some beautiful animals and seeing them in the setting that they should be, living out their life with love and kindness and compassion. And at the same time, spread a bit of the vegan message to your work colleagues. If this is something you've done already or you've been inspired to do this and please drop a comment I'd love to know I want to say a thank you to my Patreons that support me on my Patreon page if you want to support me for as little as a pound a month head over to the link in the description don't forget to hit that subscribe button especially if you've been here before and you're still not subscribed come on what's up like and share this video and I'll see you next time beans <laughs>